What's up my Koop Troop, it's Koops, and welcome back to another episode of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Man, it's been a long time since our last episode, hasn't it? Wow, it's been so long. Last time we were here, though, we did finish off the trials, and we got ourselves a nice brand new sword. Okay, not really brand new, but the mass sword is now 60 power, and that's twice as powerful as it used to be in this episode. Oh, we can defeat Ganon? Oh, not yet. Not, not yet, I think. We want to go ahead and do the adventure log. We've got some new side quests, if you all remember with the DLC that came out now a long time ago. But when it came out, we got new masks to try and go and get. I actually don't know where their locations are, so I want to go and find out. I mean, it says right now to go to Outpost Ruins and South Call Stable, blah, blah, blah. blah. But we gotta go find the masks. And I think that'd be kind of fun to do before we go defeat Ganon, or if not fun, just something to do. So let's go ahead and Start it out, why not? Rumor has it there's an item called the Korok Mask that has the power to alert its wearer when a Korok is hiding nearby. Ooh. Apparently the Woodland Stable has a copy of Super Rumor Mail EX, which details some rumors about this rare mask. Woodland Stable. Let's go ahead and try that way then. So I need to find where the Woodland Stable, that was, uh, it's been a while since I played too. That's the one that's, du -du 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 -du. wetland, that, that was close. So close. Outskirt, nope, not not there yet. Woodland, nope. Dueling Peaks, could try. Highland, nope, that also sounds like Woodland. This is not it, no, I, I knew that wasn't it. We, we just did that one. Is this Woodland? Oh, we found it, all right. Let's go to Woodland Stable then and try and find out information about the Korok mask. So I wanted to apologize uh, for those of you that didn't see the news video that I've been gone for so long. But I'm back, we're gonna try and finish off Breath of the Wild pretty soon because we've been doing this game for a long time now. And we're getting so close to the end of it. You know, so close to defeating Ganon and exploring uh, the Hyrule Castle. And so I wanna do all of that stuff. And I haven't played this game since we last played together. So it's been a long time for me and I've been dying to finish it. But before we do that, like I said, let's go ahead and try and find some of these masks that are hidden about. Man, it's been so long since I've even played this game. I'm, I'm like practically forgetting all the controls and all of that. But hopefully I don't make a mockery of myself too much. We've done most all the side quests now, except for one that involved going over to Hyrule Castle itself. So now it's just time to do some of these fun little mask getting quests. I mean, the, the masks came out and I'm guessing they're kind of useful or maybe not, but at least something to collect. So we're, we'll try and do that. Well, here's the book. I'm guessing. Super Rumor Mill V1. Read it. Tracy here, awake or asleep, my quest for juicy rumors never rest ever. Doesn't everyone gossip in their sleep? No, just me? Okay. Today I've got a hot rumor fresh from the mill that is, wait for it, an exclusive. And that special topic is the mysterious Korok mask. They say if you pour enough love into an object, a spirit will inhabit it. Something that creepy is just gotta be true. Pour enough love, okay. And apparently this Korok mask really is inhabited by a spirit. If you wear it, it supposedly shakes and makes adorable weird noises every now and then. Maybe it does that to tell you when friends are nearby and you can't see them? Who knows? Or it just told us right there. Some say the treasure chest containing this mask is hidden in a tree hollow in a forest that makes people lose their way. Oh no, it's in the Korok place, isn't it? Hmm, sounds like a tough place to find something. Luckily, word has it there's a convenient trick for finding your way. Tracy's recommendation, five stars. Well, actually, I think we then know what to do. We had to go to the Korok Forest and use our Magnesis to explore all the hollow trees till we find that treasure chest. Ah, such a pleasure to see you again. What are you looking for? What are you selling? Oh, I'm sure I have something useful for you. Once again, let's grab ourselves some arrows. Wow! Wow! Always good to have. Yeah, yeah! And what about these? We've got 20, we've got 36. 22, uh, we'll go ahead and leave those for now, that's fine. Bye bye <laughs> So we need to now go over to the Korok Forest. It sounds like, well, not forest, I guess the Lost Woods technically. So we're gonna go ahead and fly right here. We're actually kind of close to it, but we'll fly right there. We'll go start the Lost Woods like we did before, you know, when we got lost. <laughs> and we'll explore around and try and find where this stinking treasure chest is so we can get ourselves a cute Korok mask. Now, this would be useful if you're trying to collect all the Koroks. I'm uh, not trying to do that. <laughs> I don't want to collect all the Koroks. Don't make me, game. 
I just wanted to collect enough to get all of our sword weapon slots, which we've done. The shields and arrows would be nice too, but it's not that important, so I don't really care about the Koroks. This is just more of a completionist type of thing we're doing here. And I hadn't really intended to completionist this game, but as it's been going on, I've been enjoying it, and so I've been completing it. That's about my mentality, how it works for me. If I enjoy it, I play more. If I don't, I don't. That's about it. Let's see here. We need to go over here to the start of the Lost Woods. I don't really want to fight the enemies. I've done that before. <laughs> That's never fun. We'll get ourselves back on the path that's to our right and head on into Lost Woods for another, a second time. Third time? Fourth time? I don't know. I've gotten lost there so many times. And off the tree. Off the tree link. Welcome back, everyone, to the Lost Woods. An easy place to lose your way. Oh, no. Hi, guys. Wow, there's guys that want to just blow me up, huh? How about I just go in here? Maybe they won't follow me in the Lost Woods. No, that, that guy... Okay. This guy wanted to follow me, clearly. I don't want the duplex bow, I just want your mighty bananas. Do I still need the fire to find my way through here? Well, that didn't work. Can I use Magnesis? I think these are already lit, right? So I can just follow the pre-lit trail? I think? It said in the hollow tree. I'm guessing it's probably in the second section, not this first section. That second one had a lot more of the hollow tree type of thing. But I will need to make sure I check those out. I'm actually gonna go ahead and do uh, stasis. I think it's easier to see in stasis mode. Say that, but I've already lost my way. Where's the next fire, man? Ugh! Was it this way? Oh, I might need to grab a torch. No! I didn't want to do this. Over here, huh? I didn't realize those guys would follow me into the Lost Woods. Seems pretty desperate of them, you know? Where's the next fire? Or can I explore here now totally? Because I've already completed it. Wait, it looks like I can just explore it. Oh. I thought I had to follow it again. That doesn't look like that's the case. Nice. Well, then let's not follow the path. Let's go ahead and look for our tree trunk. I guess because the Koroks trust me now, they don't get me lost. Still is the creepy music, but... Oh. I take that back. Apparently it will still throw me out. I guess I was following the right path before without even meaning to. Well, I don't have a stick to do the fire trick where it shows you the, uh, shows you the way. Oh, here's a torch, though. Can't carry any more melee. Well, let's get rid of something then. Oh, I've got a heaping of good weapons here, don't I? Hmm, which one is the least good weapon? Maybe this thunder blade I don't really need. Still feels bad to grab that and get rid of the other weapon. All right, let's see where this goes. Oh. Oh, I can't pull up. I can't do my Magnesis trick and have that out. Maybe it's in the next section of the Magnesis. I don't know. This seems like a decent spot for two, you know, but without my fire trick, I'm afraid I'm going to get lost. In fact, I'm pretty sure I just did get lost.
I also don't see anything that would be magnesible, accessible. I'm assuming it's in one of these guys' mouths. That's where it would. No, 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 no! Oh, I even got out of it, but then it snuck me back in. All right, let's just follow the path then with our fire. Get through the second stinky section. I'm assuming it'll be on the path that is around here anyway, so I'll just keep my wits about me. This trick does work, yeah? Thought it worked. Maybe this top down view is a little bit better. Then I can't see the trees. I need to look at those to see if they have our treasure chest inside. Hey, dear. Careful, or else I'll shoot you. I mean, no, no, that, that's that's what I that's what I meant. Actually, I take that back. Nothing in there. Fire hasn't let us down yet. But I also haven't found our treasure chest, so that's a little bit sad. These woods would be actually so creepy to explore. I think in real life. I, mean, I know Link's doing it, but... Well, now we've reached this next section. I know this is... Is this where it opens up to the next... The main area? Oh. I think this is. Any of those trees suspect? I thought maybe it'd be back there. Let's just uh, continue exploring forward then. But at this point, it gets the real it gets the real Korok Forest, doesn't it? We're out of the Lost Woods. Oh man, I failed. We failed the mission! Hidden in the hollow of a terrifying tree in a forest that caused those who enter to lose their way. Find that forest and look at the treasure chest. It could be that other trial too. There was terrifying trees in there. I don't know, but this is the one that, this is the Lost Woods. This is what I'm assuming it means back here as opposed to the stuff beyond it. So let's try back here again. Look for a terrifying tree. This there seems like there's an easy way to find it. It's got me confused. These trees are all pretty terrifying. That one looks pretty terrifying. I, I mean, these are all terrifying trees, yeah? Open up. Do you have anything inside for me? No. I, I mean, they're all kind of terrifying, you know? Are all the treasure chests going to be this hard to find? This could be a problem for us. No! Where does this set me back to? Does it set me back to Korok Forest or back to the second part? Oh, back to the second part. Wait, there's treasure chest right there. Is that the one? There's a normal treasure chest. Oh, that's just a normal treasure chest. Wait, could it not be one of the metal ones? Oh, I thought I just assumed it was gonna be metal. Wait, that could be a real problem. I, oh boy, I just assumed it'd be metal. Wait, if it's not, we're in real trouble. Easy way to 
find it. What what could that possibly be? I uh, man, game's got me stumped already. And that's not only because we're in a forest. Without the fire, I could also use these little things in the air. I believe they also tell the path which way to go. But just follow them. Kind of forgot about that actually. That you could use these. Yeah, they, they, they're showing you the way. That's nice of them. But I still have to find my treasure chest, unfortunately. See, there's so many terrifying trees. Oh, this one looks really terrifying. And its mouth is open. But he's got nothing in it. I don't know if there's a tree that's like super terrifying. Mouth open tree seemed like a good bet. But unfortunately for us, we were wrong. Wait, you got a mouth open too. Oh, you also have something inside your mouth. Could this be it? Could it be? No. <laughs> it's it's an opal. <laughs> That's uh not ideal. In fact, maybe this is maybe this is harder still. This is now the right way to go. Now it's this way. This guy's pretty terrifying. There's nothing in his mouth. Could it possibly be the trees from the other section? I just don't think so. This is the Lost Woods. This is what it's referencing. Maybe it's one of these trees like off to the side a little bit. I can't go that way anymore. Can I? What is that one? We're supposed to go that way now. Are any of you the terrifying trees? Nothing inside your mouth. Why, why do I gotta look inside trees' mouths, huh? I'm not a dentist. Or would that be the proper guy who looks inside trees' mouths, dentist? Wait, here's something. Is this it? Could this be it too? Five arrows! <laughs> That's a... Uh, not what I'm looking for? Wait, what? I was just standing there a second ago. How, how, what? How was that not correct? What? I mean, I was just there. Why do I go to the top one of these guys? Will, they, will that help me out? Look. That didn't really seem like it helped me. Man, I wish I had some more hints on this. Let me, let me read this again, because maybe I'm just missing something. Treasure chest containing the Korok mask is hidden in the hollow. Yep. Of a terrifying tree and a force that causes those who enter to lose their way. Find that force and look at the treasure chest. I mean, maybe it's earlier on. I, wait, there's one back there. It's a metal one, too. Let's pull it out of its mouth. Oh, is this it? It's a purple treasure chest. Oh, we got it. A mask inspired by those fun-loving Koroks. It checks when one is hiding nearby. If sold as rare, fine can't be replaced. Hey, we did it. Man, that's actually really tough. I, maybe it wasn't, but I just never, no never noticed it a couple times we were over here. Wow. All right. Well, that's one down. Nice. Let's go to South Akala Stable then for the next one. So where is South Akala Stable? Well, that'd probably be in, uh, you know, South. 
Akala, which up here is North Akala. So South Akala stable, one of this one. There it is. Yep. Woo! One down. I don't know how many to go. Maybe five, six. Too many. <laughs> Not exactly sure on that, but. That was a painful one. Hopefully the other ones are a little smoother than that. That Korok mask. We can go put it on. Look cool. I don't think I have a mask on right now. Maybe I've got some earrings. But the Korok mask, it only has one power. And I'm guessing you probably can't upgrade it. It's more of a specialty item. Unfortunately, if they're all specialty items, that's not that doesn't bode too well, does it? Probably not. I'm going to sit back a little bit here. More comfortable. Let's, let's uh, deck ourselves. Korok mask equip. Oh yeah, that looks great. I look kind of scary, don't I? Let's see how this thing works in real time. We'll see if it shakes and make no makes noise or anything like that. But first, it's back to the rumor mill. Super Rumor Mill EX Volume 2! Tracy here, no matter where I go, my love for rumors inevitably follows. Don't you make it a point to dig up rumors while traveling? In any case, today's topic of discussion is the dream of teleportation. Apparently there was once an ancient medallion that could instantly teleport you to wherever you placed it. Man, that's some high-tech stuff. What's more, this wondrous item may still be somewhere out there just waiting to be scooped up. I must say, it sounds like, sounds like the perfect item for travelers, adventurers, and rumor lovers alike. I hear the treasure chest. Containing this tool is located behind, beneath a labyrinth in Northeast Akala. Beneath? I know where the labyrinth is, located beneath it? Oh, in that big room? Oh, okay, okay, I know, where, yeah, with all the guardians. Is it true or just a beautiful dream? I'll let you decide that for yourself, dear reader. Five star recommendation. Actually, I think we know where this one is. So we go to the Northeast. There was a shrine right here, and underneath that shrine was a bunch of guardians. A pit of guardians. So, if the rumor's to be believed, it should probably be in that, uh, down there. This could actually be, hopefully, a relatively simple one to find, then. Which would be great, after wasting so much time on that last Korok mask. I'd, I'd love an easy one at this point. Yeah, that'd be nice. Though, this has all the guardians down here, so this is maybe not the easiest. But we can actually fight them a little bit. We've got some good equipment on us. To take down guardians. You can always use guardian parts. Especially before we go to some other stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, okay, I already see stuff. Dude's down there wanting to fight. Well, the cork mask probably won't be that useful for me fighting guardians. So let's go ahead and put on some good stuff for the big old guardian fight. I guess I should throw on my guardian resist items. Do, do, do. Let me sort that again. I want them by sets. All right, this sets ugly as sin, but we're gonna go ahead and wear it. Ancient proficiency if I have ancient weapons. I don't know if I do have an ancient weapon. I mean, this would be this would be okay, the master sword. I do have ancient weapons too, so we'll use the master sword till it breaks and I'll probably put on one of these ancient battle axes. Well, hello everyone. That guy's dead. That was pretty quick. Oh, well, you know what? Maybe I should have waited there for that one. Oh, got hit from behind. I was trying to do a bit of an angle so they wouldn't get me. Oh, there goes my cover. Wait, did someone just wake up? Oh, gosh, that guy just woke up. I probably should have deflected that one. Shoot your buddy! <laughs> your friends hate you, man. Wait, he's just he's shooting from down here? Wait, he can do that? When his head's upside down? I did not know they could do that.
So now he's on a little bit weaker. I could just go find that item, but you know what? Defeating Guardian sounds okay. We haven't done that in a while. The guy had all the good stuff. Well, I didn't really deflect that. Oh, these guys die in one hit to the reflection? Oh, nice miss. That guy should be dead. Well, yeah, that's way easier than, whatever, <laughs> than actually fighting them. As long as you can get the timing, okay. Are you alive too? You probably are. Wakey, wakey! No, the bacon! As long as I break all his legs, he'll have a bad time. That's what I'll do first. We'll make it simple for ourselves and shoot him in the eye. Nice. I don't know if there's anyone else down here left alive. I'm sure there might be. We can do a little run around lap. <laughs> Last time I was here and I met all these guardians, I just ran for it. We also came here a little too early. This treasure chest back there, that might be the one we're looking for. Uh, I, I don't, I mean, I can search these for ancient screws, but I don't really want to do that. That guy might be alive, too. He's got legs, so... Let's see, is this the correct one? Oh, looks like it's a br another purple chest! Oh, the Travel Medallion! This mysterious tool is made using forgotten ancient technology. Place it by opening your pouch and registering your current location as a travel gate. Is that one-time use, or can I keep using that? Hmm... I don't know... I thought it was one time use, and I have no idea which location I want to put it in. So you know what, I'm not going to use that. I'll wait till I read the comments from what you guys recommend on that. Because I'm, I think what people use it for is farming like dragon parts or something. Is what I've heard the rumors are for that. But I, I, don't, I don't really know. And so I'll let you guys in on that. Let me know. Because I would probably end up just placing somewhere stupid. And that'd be sad. So the rest is actually dead? Well, then this wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was, if they're all dead. You dead too? That guy over there does not look dead, right? This guy looks totally alive. You've got to be alive, right? I've killed your brethren. What do you think about that? Oh, I guess he's dead too. Oh, well, never mind. So really, there actually is not as many as I thought there was down here, but... Well, another thing complete. Let's just get out of here, then. So we don't we don't really need to teleport our way out. I mean, we don't need to climb our way out. We can just teleport away. So let's see what's next. Ancient Mask. Royal family of Hyrule collected historically significant outfits, but they were stolen by a bandit named Misko. One of the items stolen was an ancient mask. There's a journal that places the location of this treasure somewhere in the outpost ruins. Well, actually, one, two, three, four. All the next treasure chests are all at outpost ruins. Er... I guess there's a journal that tells the location, and that journal is an outpost ruin. So we need to go to outpost ruins, wherever that is. Wait, is that is that a thing? Outpost ruins? Quarry ruins? Is that around here or something? Central tower. Exchange ruins? Have I not been here? Oh, this could be a real problem. I've never been to it. Forest of Time. <sighs> Outpost Ruins. I, like, there's, ex I remember a lot of ruins around here. Is it one of these things, like, that I've never been to before? Oh, that could be absolutely miserable, then, if that's the case. I don't see anything labeled Outpost Ruins. If I had a guess, what could Outpost Ruins be? East Post? Oh, so that seems promising. East Post Ruins. It's not Outpost, but it's it's kind of it's kind of close. Well, 
Oi, oi. Military training camp? Is that? No? Oi, 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 oi. What could this be? I. It's probably something I've just never even, like walked across so it doesn't tell me its name that's a real problem sacred ground Hyrule garrison exchange ruins is there any ruins over here that i haven't been to how about we look at the map you can kind of tell ruins above it east post seems so promising like I'm guessing it's gotta be something also similar to East Post Ruins, so... You know, ruins like that, but... Outpost Ruins, does it... Did they give me any more information than that? Than just Outpost? I mean, that's, that's probably telling the location of it, but I maybe haven't seen it. So there's East Post. Do I need to explore around here more? Oh, I thought I explored here pretty well. Central Tower... I don't see any ruins. Wow, this is this is bad. The fact that I don't know where where it even starts is a big problem. <laughs> How are we supposed to find it? I guess you're supposed to have just explored enough till you found where it was. Grand Canyon or Gerudo Canyon Pass, that's not it. Okay, so I don't know where the outpost ruins are. I am assuming the ruins would be along the path somewhere. So I, I think that's a fair assumption. And east post ruins are over here. So I'm assuming it's something similar to that. Along this outside, maybe along the outside edge here. But I don't see any ruins named outpost ruins. And if I haven't seen them, maybe it's someplace I haven't explored yet. But that's a big problem because I don't even know where to start. What are these ruins? Are these ruins? I haven't explored these ruins. And those are definitely ruins. So maybe we should uh, start over... Walk around here. Like, there's some ruins here too. Yeah, how about we start right here and explore around and see if we can find... Ruins of some sort, you know, just ruins we've never seen before. Maybe they'll be outpost ruins or <laughs> something. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. I was hoping to get all this done, but if we don't even know where the outpost ruins are, there's no way we can complete the quest. Oh boy. <laughs> That's uh, not so good. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I don't even know what to do about this. I guess what we're doing now is what we gotta do about it. Uh, now, there will be lots of guardians uh, in this area, which is kind of a big problem. They're annoying. So, in terms of ruins, these are something. I mean, these are actually ruins, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw a pin on that. Yeah, there's some ruins. These are exchange ruins. Those aren't... These aren't the ruins you're looking for. These are ruins. Could be... These are ruins? Man, have I just like not walked through any of these ruins? These are East Post. See, like all these could be good. East Post, that could be Outpost. Here's some ruins. Wait, didn't I walk through that, isn't this? Where's this? I don't know, you know what, I'm gonna pin that too. I'm assuming all these ruins have names. I just haven't been to them. So there's, there's Coliseum ruins, we've done that though. Exchange ruins, we've been there. Oh yeah, there's some big ruins up here I never went to. Alright, so are th these are ruins. Well, we got some places to go to. Let's uh, start our journey off by going to the red ones. Sure, why not? They're close by. There's people fighting over here. Well, rip that guy. Well, I missed my shot, but that's okay. Ah, that got hairier than I expected. You did pretty good. 
Much as it calls me to thank you for saving us, that is what happened, so sure, here's a little something. Thanks for the sneaky veggie rice balls. I appreciate that. So what is this? Are these ruins? Did it, did it pop up? I didn't see any signs. Are these just like random ruins? Should I know what these are? Because I don't. Come on, game. Mercy on me. No, is it nighttime? Oh, it's 9, 10 p.m. Oh, no, I probably should sleep overnight. Well, whatever. All right, well, these ruins were uh, useless, so let's move on to other ruins. Nice fort you guys got here. I'm not going to deal with it right now. That sounds like a pain. I'm just going to run over my other little markings, which are down here. Are these outpost ruins? I assume it's got to pop up somewhere saying like, Hey, you've reached outpost ruins. Good job, moron. Here's some ruins. What are what are these? Anything inside the house? No. Nothing. Also, are these ruins so small that nothing even pops up? Name-wise? That could be a problem. Well, these are definitely ruins, and there's, uh... Nothing here, so... Good stuff. Let's keep our journey going. Don't slow down yet. Let's <laughs> keep, keep moving on down the pathway. Hmm. So far, not so good. It's okay. Some pretty horses over there, though. I don't want to fight you. Well, I thought there was guardians, but maybe I'm a little too far out for the guardians. Uh, as of as of now, I probably don't need to wear this outfit, but it's all right. It's actually still has plenty of armor, even if it's not needed for most of these dudes. I also have things that make make me run faster at night. Maybe I should wear those, huh? I also have my Korok outfit. I could wear that too. All right, let's put on something different. Is this the one that makes me run faster at night? Oh, uh, that's not it exactly. Maybe it's this one? Yeah, night speed up. Perfect. Now we can explore faster! We have very little armor, so I gotta be a little careful. Well, this is kind of good that we get to explore around again. It's not... Not what I intended, but you know what? It's okay. Well, the bats didn't like that, but you know what? I don't like the bats either. So that's a... This is a nothing. Is it even worth doing? It's not even worth doing, but I'm going to do it anyways. Opal! Amber! Alright, Opal. <laughs> it's one of the useless things. <laughs> so let's see, here's our blue pin. Are these outpost ruins? These are more ruin-esque than some of the other ones. Well, this guy's a big one. I actually like this wind cleaver. It's a pretty nice weapon, so I'll drop this again. My uh, master sword hasn't broken yet, which is kind of surprising, but I'm going to go ahead and use this wind cleaver. So are these outpost ruins? Wait, how'd you get injured so badly, dude? I didn't even touch you. That wind cleaver just killed so many bats. What the heck? Does it not pop up on the screen and say? That's kind of a rare shield, isn't it? I think it is. Or does it just kind of show up on my map? Oh, it does. It didn't pop up. These are gate posts. What about those other runes I walked by? Oh, so I got to come over here and check? Well, that's, that's whatever. Gate post town runes. I've never been there. That's good. 
None of those runes we passed by were anything. They weren't important. Well, at least we found something, you know. Right, let's go save our friends over the wall. Hello, friends. I saved you. Think highly that Mina is safe. I knew it wasn't smart to go treasure hunting in these parts. Oh, there she is. Oh, we're all right. We should count ourselves lucky for that. Yes. Did I help you? I'm not sure. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. So, are these useless ruins, too? Man, it really sucks not knowing which ones are the outpost ruins, doesn't it? These are ruins, but they aren't the ones I'm looking for. I know what an outpost is. It's one of the things that, like, you know, is on the edge of something to scout out enemies. Normally it'd be a tower-like thing. It doesn't have to be a tower, though. But I would assume it'd be on the far edges of maybe Hyrule Castle or on the Hyrule Field. Oh my gosh, dude, I just killed your friend. That was close. This is a two-handed weapon, but it doesn't swing around in circles like the other ones do. Yeah, I'll replace my weapon. Thanks, man. So now we're in some ruins. Where are we at? Outpost ruins! Our discovery! Hooray! I should still probably go check those other ruins because they might be important. But we discovered the outpost ruins. That's really good. Now we can find the information leading to where all the other ruins are. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. This place is a mess! You guys were not kidding when you talked about um, after defeating the... The ninja clan, how they start attacking everything. Oh, here's the treasure chest. They are everywhere. Man, they're annoying. You walk five feet and they pop up. I think the game could have been a little easier on that. Or like maybe not. I, I don't even understand it. Like after I defeat them, now they show up more often? How does that make any sense? After I defeat them, shouldn't they just like not show up anymore? I don't really get that. They're just, they're just super annoying. And they're everywhere. You're like trying to fight random things and they pop up. Like, dude, get out of my business. I'm doing things. So we're looking for a note. I I, I keep pulling this out, not you know, because it's gonna be there, but we're looking for uh, a note is what should tell us where the other information is. I assume it's probably not necessarily hidden somewhere, but just kind of chilling out in a spot. I can't believe we didn't explore more of these things. I'm actually a bit surprised. Yeah, that's a pretty solid bow. I think we have a lot of royal bows, though. And see, they're not better than these Lionel bows. Look, look at all these royal, royal bows I have. <laughs> so many royal bows. I guess I could technically drop this one for a fresh one. This one also has durability up. They just last forever. See, even if I got more arrow slots, it's like not even that important. You know? Our bow slots, I mean, because I just you don't run out of bows. They just don't break on you that often. Wish the uh, weapons in the game were a little more durable. It's probably like at one of these camp things, I would guess. But now we're kind of outside the outpost ruins. Oh, no, we're not. We're still in them. Well, that did damage to them. That wind slash, they did not make it alive. All right, I don't know why there's yellow choo. -choo. I guess there's a yellow choo choo guy in there. Hi, hi, buddy. I haven't found this 
stupid. <laughs> stupid thing. It also it's day, so I don't really need this outfit anymore. It was uh okay, well while well, it lasted. Let's put on our barbarian outfit. I just think I look cool in that. Not that it's the best outfit or anything, just I feel like a monster in the barbarian outfit. Alright, so far, no luck finding this note. I've done a decent pass through. It's a note, right? That's what I'm looking for, yeah? Note, I think. Could it be any of those boxes? See, I've been in here before. I just assumed... It's gotta be like in a... Wait, is this it? Is this it? Oh, that's in the... I walked right by that. Was this book always here? First page. Misko's EX journal. I hid the eight priceless relics I stole from Hyrule Castle and treasure chest. I shall write down their locations, Misko. The ancient mask lies at the ruins where soldiers gathered. From there, the waters of Lake Colom Colomo are visible. The green garments of the man who wished to be a fairy are hidden in the ruins of Hyrule Field. Find these pieces at the ruins where trade flourished, at the ruins where sinners were imprisoned, and at the village ruins next to the farmland where many people once gathered. The Princess of Twilight, whose stories are handed down alongside those of the Hero of Twilight. Her helmet can be found at the temple ruins soaked in the waters of Regencia River. Armor worn by fierce phantoms, feared even by heroes, is hidden in the ruins of Hyrule Field. Find these place pieces at a battleground where brave souls tested their skill. At ceremonial grounds where royal guards are honored. And at the ruins where the soldiers of Hyrule gather. EX is all that's written on the last page. What could it mean? Please update my stuff. Okay, woo, good. I was really afraid none of that would update. And I wouldn't know any of it. So they should have all be updated now. They all still say Outpost Ruins, but it looks like it's told us now where to go find them. So, for example, the Ancient Mask lies at the ruins where soldiers gathered. From there, the waters of Lake Colomo are visible. Let's take a look at what that might be. Ruins where soldiers gathered. From there, the waters of Lake Colomo are visible. Where's Lake Colomo? Let's do that. All right, so here's where Lake Colomo is. Ruins where soldiers gathered. I mean, here's some ruins that I never discovered. So this could be a big problem. It could be ruins that I don't know the names of. There's Gatepost. I... This... I mean, the, the lake is very visible from those ruins. That, that would be my best bet as to what it's referring to. But I don't know what these ruins are, so I don't know if soldiers gathered there or not. What other ruins had I marked? Yeah, down there still feels pretty good to check out, too. Okay, well, we've got ourselves an idea of that one, then. What other... Should I look at all these? No, see, some of these have, like, three parts to them. Yeah, three garments hidden. This one had one, right? That's no, just one. Okay. Okay, I think I think we've got an idea of what we need to do, but I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode. When we come back next time, we're going to start exploring for all of these garments that Misko hid uh, around the area, I guess. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Go ahead and karate chop that like button. Until next time, GG.